It is time to receive Amen. what God has in store for you today. Amen. And the Lord has prepared his servant to bless us tonight. We're going to work on him in a minute. Yes, Lord. But we want to recognize our mommy. He's here with his better half tonight. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus as we welcome our mommy. Amen. Pastor Mrs. Akindele. Amen. Amen. Husband, Amen. only lover of her life. Amen. She probably will be the best person to uh, to introduce introduce her. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry, I'm putting you on this spot, but I mean, we just want to recognize our mom. We will thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Put those hands together for the Lord Jesus. Somebody shout Hallelujah. Honestly, I'll, it is with great joy, great Amen. honor, Amen. and great excitement Amen. that we have come tonight because I know that what somebody needs here tonight is not deliverance, but divine download. When I heard from my husband who were coming here, I said, Lord, we're going higher. Amen. Some have said, Come up either. But now we're looking for multi dimension. Not just a higher level, more dimension. And tonight, like you heard from the man of God, if you are open to receive, receive. The package yes. is released. Amen. The attachment is ready, ready, ready. Yes. And somebody just has to be willing to click on that download yes. and receive your own package yes. in the name of yes. Jesus. Yes. So, permit me. Yes, Lord. This is not the, you know, my job here is to introduce my better half. Yes, a lot. And I want to say that I know that God has prepared a word for someone yeah. and I just want to appeal to you open up your spirit yeah. and be ready to receive and in the name of Jesus I stand upon the word of God and I decree that anything that wants to contaminate and corrupt that which is already in progress shall be terminated by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. And every heart here is ready and they shall receive in the name of Jesus. And so with great joy and honor, I want to welcome my pastor, my husband, Amen. my helper, Amen. yes, yes. Amen. the one that makes me look good, Amen. I, I call him a man sent from God, Amen. 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 so the great honor, please join me and welcome none other but Pastor Corrigi and Peter Oh, you know. 
Say that, Lord. When we look at that scripture, God is the one speaking. Is it a man? No. Can he lie? No. He's not a man to lie, neither the son of God to repent. No. And what God is saying is amazing. And if we look at our day and our time, it looks like a paradox. No. What God is expecting from us and what we are seeing looks like a paradox. No. And the expectation of God has come to pass in our life. Amen. Enough of lie of the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, The glory of this latter house, Amen. of this latter house shall be greater yes. than the former. Amen. How many of you have heard of Captain Kuman? You heard of Ora Roberts? Yes, you, heard, you, you heard of Obadari? Yes. yes. You heard of all these great men of God? Mm-hmm. Pastor Adipoyi. And so on and so forth. Many. Mm-hmm. Many of us, we have given our life to the Lord after them. Mm-hmm. So we are latter. Mm-hmm. We are latter house. Mm-hmm. Now, what is happening to the church today? Mm-hmm. The church that Jesus bought with his own blood, that he paid a price for, yes, sir. is expecting that the glory of this church. Mm-hmm. To be greater than anything that we have ever seen. Amen. Okay, we were talking about the woman. You remember, in the, you, are, you read in your Bible about Peter, the shadow, about Paul, and Catholic taken from Paul, and people are getting healed. Now, how, how many times have you had such kind of experience in your life? Or in our ministries? How many times have we experienced this? So what is the issue? What's the problem? God is not a liar. Mm-hmm. And Jesus do not die for a church that will be with him. Mm-hmm. He has died for winners. Amen. Amen. And he's not saying in this world just to make us feel good. He's saying this world because he wants us to live in it. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oh Lord, send down your glory. Yes. Oh Lord, send down your glory. Amen. God must send down his glory in this gathering. Amen. Otherwise, I don't want others to be coming every year and every time we come and we just exert ourselves and we go back to business as usual. Is that what you want? No. What I want is to see this world more than this black and white. I want to see action behind it. Do you realize that many folks, many Muslims in 1981 came to know God in Lagos, Nigeria as a result of a a revival that broke through one man that was even blind. Mm -hmm. You remember that answer? I gave my life to the Lord. It was when I gave my life to the Lord, sir, it was a divine encounter. Amen. And God now wants to make my life a little easy for me. Mm-hmm. He allowed my mother to hear about Badari, mm-hmm. the Bible. Mm-hmm. And my mother just heard the Bible. And anything to do with power. How many of you know, know that our mother loved that? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know somebody that can beat the devil. Yes. You go to that person. Yes. You go to any level. If you know somebody that can be the devil, even if they ask you to be naked, uh, in during the daytime or late at night, be in the bush, whatever, what will you do? And they go and do something about it. Whatever they ask them to do, they do. Mm-hmm. Now, a man of God came and you were hearing about people getting healed, mm-hmm. people getting delivered. Things are happening. Immediately, my mother went there just to look. Mm-hmm. One thank God for one of our friends that invited her to go. And he came back. He gave her life to the Lord. Amen. I'm, I'm, I can imagine maybe the kind of persecution I faced, sir. When my father heard that I'm now a born again Christian, he said, My own doubt, you want to be what? <laughs> I, I was not very, very, very devoted Muslim then. He doesn't care. 
But now that I am now saying that I'm going to church every Sunday, because that's the only thing we know, apart from all the Bible study and the rest of it. Right. <laughs> I was not Sunday Sunday Christians. Amen. Amen. Any opportunity that I'm hearing that I can hear the gospel, I'm there. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Whether it is crusade, you, whether it is Bible study, or what have you, I was hungry for God. Amen. 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 I was hungry for God. Yes. And guess what? When I give my life to the Lord, I don't see anything impossible. Come on. There was a day I went to a house. They told me that Baba is dead. I said, No way. Hmm. We started praying. Yes, sir. It was late. I mean, it was dark in that place. The God will give light to make that man up. And the man lived over 10 years. Yes. Because after I've come to America, that the man uh, gave up.